In this presentation, we are going to look at some basic functions for working with arrays. So first off, I'm going to discuss one function I have written already, a. There we have it there, a 2 by 5 uh, array of numbers between 0 and 1. Uniform, uh, generate according to the uniform distribution. So uh, a useful command there would be, first off, ndims. Oh, well, it's a useful command to know, particularly if you're working with multi-dimensional arrays. Now, this is only two-dimensional uh, rows and columns. That's it. Uh, but it's possible to have multi-dimensional arrays where you have um, sort of multiple tables, each of with rows and columns. Uh, they, that's a very complex idea. Uh, we can. I actually also have another um, array inbuilt already. B, uh, it contains integer values 4, 6, and 9. So uh, a useful command t in some cases would be um, size, okay, uh, two rows by five columns. This is the size of A. We can uh, dynamically extract the number of rows and the number of columns. Uh, you could actually, if it was more dimensions again, you could actually pick out the number of the the next, how many, uh, the, the the size of the next dimension, and so on. Uh, another useful command is actually L type, which is the type of each element. So for here in A, we have floats, uh, or which is to say real numbers. But for example, with B, we have integers. Okay. So and there's other types that you can have again, like complex numbers and so forth. Uh, we can also have the length of B. It's not really useful for A because A is more of a matrix whereas B is sort of just a sort of general data set. Um, something that is also useful is the number of non-zero elements. So the command for that is NNZ or NNZ. Now here the, the we have three non-zero elements but uh, so in that case the number of elements of B of non-zero elements of, of B is simply, uh, there it is again, 4, 6, and 9, that is 3. But let's uh, pick out, for example, the I matrix. Now this constructs the identity matrix. There we go. Uh, 1, 0, 0, and 1. Let's scroll down here a second. And let's try that out with that. Um, NNZ of I, 2, there we have it there, 2 non-zero elements. So, uh, that is uh, some very easy commands there. We can sort of concatenate or cons uh, uh, construct um, uh, uh, matrices based on uh, aggregate matrices here. So I'm going to call this I. I'm going to call that I. So we can actually join A and I together as a 2 by 7 matrix. How will we do that? Let's call this D. So D equals A and I, oops, there we go. So that has joined I to the end of matrix A. The size of that, there we go, two by seven. Now you have to make sure that the dimensions are compatible. So for argument's sake, if you wanted to join A above I, for something like this, it's not gonna work. So A in the top, and then I on, on the rows below it. So the diff, what you do there to start a new row is have the semicolon operator. We're going to get an error here. It doesn't work. Suppose we had I was 5, a 5 by 5 matrix. Now that would work fine. Okay. So that's how we sort of uh, block matrices together, like Lego. Okay, so those are a few simple commands in Julia. And we leave it there for this time around.